Good evening. Hello everybody. Welcome to everyone that's in the channel so far. 11 viewers when we go live. It's freaking awesome. Thank you so much for the support everyone. I remember uh, maybe six weeks ago. And um, we were lucky if we had double digits through the whole cast. And now we go in live again and we're back to like 11 people when we hit live, which is freaking awesome. So seriously, hand on heart. Thank you everyone. Coming back in, finding the channel again, showing the support, it's incredible. How is everyone doing? How has your Tuesday the 2nd of June been? I was waiting for someone to come out with that, that guy. Excited to reveal the big news, I know, right? That's what's drawing everyone in. That guy, no worries at all, buddy. It's absolutely fine. The big news. The amount of messages I've got through today. Like, what's the news? What's the news? Tell me the news. Please tell me the news. I need to know. Wiley reckons he's guessed what it is, but hasn't said because he's worried he's not right. <laughs> Juice playing vanilla WoW. Nice. Is that, um, I know, a custom server? Whoa, oh, the cappers. Nice juice. I might, I might have to look into that. Um, so, I guess what I did because Banham hit me last night and parents forced me up. No worries, but it's absolutely fine. Um, playing GTA 5, which I've owned for two years for the first time. Nice one, Tom. I think the plan for the rest of this week, because I'm pretty sure we're going to wrap up Bioshock 2 tonight, looking at how much is left to play through, we'll probably finish it off there. Um, so the plan is, tomorrow and Friday, We'll be checking out GTA 5 on PC. It was very kindly gifted to us by Slade yesterday. Um, I got that installed after the cast yesterday, or like 62 gig of it. Um, so that's installed and ready to go. I've not even loaded it yet, but we'll probably be playing that tomorrow. Rather than start Bioshock Infinite kind of midweek. So we'll do GTA tomorrow and Friday. And then next Monday, we'll start Bioshock Infinite. I'm out of then. Stick to the schedule we've been on the last few weeks. And uh, yeah, like I I wanted to get back into WoW. I, I always kind of want to go back to WoW. Like we tried out um, Star Wars Old Republic two weeks ago. Um, and it was good. Like I enjoyed it. But there were some restrictions because it's obviously free to play and I was aware it was free to play when I went into it so I was kind of always waiting for that one thing that was going to make the free to play really kind of be noticeable and unfortunately for some reason I had a load of kind of legacy gear when I loaded the game up I had like 20 slots of inventory taken up by this legacy gear and I wore 10 of it and then I had 10 that I just chucked because I was never going to use it and then I slowly replaced that legacy gear with kind of quest gear because I didn't have the equipment to level up with the legacy gear to make it worthwhile but I didn't want to throw it away so I was carrying it around in my inventory and your inventory by default is about 30 slots so that's 10 of them taken up with just armour um, so 
I was always waiting to get to the point where I could find a bank system and drop off this armor. And after kind of three or four hours and getting through the whole tutorial section, we hit the, the hub area and there was the bank and I went to use it and you're not allowed on a free account. You have to pay to get any kind of bank access. Um, and you have to pay the subscription fees, it's like £10 a month or something. Um, so that really put me off like not being able to use any kind of storage system other than your inventory without having to pay the subscription was a kind of a big turn off for me um, and like I said I knew it was free to play I was waiting for that one thing to come up that was going to be like oh this is a bit of a pain in the ass I was expecting it to be like you can craft one item every hour or you can pay five pounds to um to craft more kind of thing and then yeah when it became the storage system I was just like oh this is a bit a little bit too restricted um, so that, that kind of put me off and we're not really going back to it hey she has a game buddy um, can you please explain the thing that allows us to order takeout for you yes um, let me get the link the one thing I will say about this, um, Brooklyn, before I start, is that in order for this system to work, you have to have at least 2,000 followers. Um, otherwise, it will not let you sign up for it. So it's like, as soon as I hit 2,000 followers, I'm going to be applying for it. Where is she? How's it going? But yeah, I'll find the link. So this is the link for Treat Stream, which is the program that um, Brooklyn's talking about. So you've got to be over 17. You need to live within the US, Canada, or the UK. Um, you need to have 2,000 plus stream followers. That's the, the one big stipulation. Um, other than that, you can apply for it, and obviously if you meet the requirements, then um, they'll, they'll look at it and hopefully let you sign up for it. But essentially, what it does is it you put a link onto your channel, um, and the way it works, is I'm trying to find find the link. So as a caster, um, you can select what foods you want to be on your list, um, and then your viewers can go in, and it does limit it. It limits it to kind of one every eight hours or something so that people don't just spam you with food. Um, but yeah, you can select anything from, from their list of, you know, applicable takeaway places. And yeah, your, your viewers can go in, they can pay for it. You've put your details in so it doesn't need to ask for your, um, your address or anything like that. You put all that information in when you make your account. And then yeah, your viewers go in to the website, they click on your name or on your kind of specified link that you put in your channel um, and then yeah they, they order food and it tends to be your house and it, it sounds awesome um, but yeah like I say when I hit 2,000 followers it's one of the first things I'm going to sign up for um, Ryushi I'm doing very well thank you buddy uh, some big news to announce tonight which I will get to in just a minute um, Give me to America to live in my stream house. <laughs> Reissue, that would be awesome. Um, 
I'm gonna do streams, I'm gonna come into your house and eat all your food. <laughs> um, food that live on the other side of the world, I'll take you up on the offer, so it's moving back parents in a few months. Yeah, yeah, it will be a good time to do it. Um, that guy, you're always welcome to give me any game. I, you know, I'm in a position where I never say no to games <laughs> or donations or you know Patreon subscribers or anything like that. Uh, if I have enough patrons in my house, we could buy a bigger house and have a grotto. Sounds good. <laughs> Don't know who you she. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's get to what people have been bugging me about all day. The big news. Um, let me just have a quick look. What we got? One, two. Okay, there's two of the the other guys involved in the chat at the moment. So we'll get some hype built. But um, yes. So. The big news that you're all waiting to hear. Um, over the last few months, I have been trying to work out a way of getting a better networking um, system, I guess, for myself and for the guys in this channel with other casters on Twitch. Yeah, guys like Tobash, guys like Tellurian. Um, other awesome casters that you know I've been following, well, in Tellurian's case for I don't know, a year, 18 months, somewhere around there, as long as I can remember. And Tobash, you know, I've only been following you a few weeks, but you're freaking awesome, so, yeah. Everyone should go and follow him anyway. Join that Wombat army. Um, but yeah, so that's, yeah, that's what I want to do personally. I want to be able to network more with the other casters and their communities and try and get involved with it more. But I'm not in a position where I'm able to. You know, during the day I'm looking after my little boy, so you know, I can't really spend my whole day on Twitch. Um, in the evenings, um, yeah, in the evenings, you know, I, I cook the dinner, or well, help cook dinner, um, sit down with with Claire and Ethan and spend a few hours together. They go to bed at nine o'clock, which is when I start streaming, and that's the time I get on Twitch. You know, um, the time I can spend on Twitch, I spend streaming, pretty much. So that makes networking really difficult, and that's kind of a. Uh, um, that's kind of a big impact on the growth on Twitch. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, you know, that's that's the issue that I have in growing this channel outside of the channel itself and the Facebook and the Twitter is that I don't have the ability to network with other casters as much as you almost need to be able to to, to grow on Twitch. So over the last few months, I've wanted to find a way to, to improve that. And one thing that I thought of a few weeks ago was to try and get casters together and do a multi-stream. Uh, you know, I've done a few before. I've done a multi-stream with ICDJ, Disney Monster Hunter. Um, yeah, there's, there's been a few small multi-streams that I've done in the past and they, they tend to be quite successful um, the thing with the multi-stream side of things is that you kind of you rely on everyone involved sharing out the multi-stream um, and that's like the most important thing it's all well and good casting with other people but if everyone involved doesn't share out everyone else's streams you're basically just streaming yourself um, and I've found in the past that I have jumped into a multi-stream and I've been promoting the multi-stream link all night and the views don't really match up I've had 
eight or nine viewers the whole night and the other guys involved have had 30 or 40. So somewhere, something's not quite going right. Um, so what I'm thinking, and the idea that I had, and the thing that I've been in, in talks with a couple of other casters about, which is now pretty much confirmed, is um, once a month, on the last Friday of every month, we're going to be hosting a talk show, essentially. Um, So, yeah, once a week, once a month, last Friday of every month, we're going to be hosting a talk show. And it's going to be myself, it's going to be Tobash, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, it's going to be Tobash, it's going to be. Tellurian. <laughs> All the hype. It's going to be Lothan. And if I've got that right, yep. So there you go, they're the four other casters involved. So it's going to be myself, Ewok Fuzzy Nuts, um, Paul Lothan, Tellurian, and Wombat. And myself. Five people. Once a month, we're going to get together. We're gonna get naked, we're gonna get drunk, and it's gonna be hilarious. No, we're just gonna we're gonna get a video call running, and everyone involved is welcome to stream it. Now, I've, I've stressed that from the start. This isn't me streaming with them in in the chat. This is gonna be everyone is welcome to stream it and promote it their own way and cast to their own channels and and all that kind of thing. But the way I'm gonna try and do it is we're going to get a video call running um, I'm going to try and capture everyone's webcam video and then put it onto a, a scene on OBS and then that way you can see everyone and get everyone's reactions and that kind of thing and then I'm going to set up a multi twitch so that everyone who is casting is within one link and like I say I'm going to promote that on this channel and just have it kind of come up every 10-15 minutes so that you guys ideally click on the multi twitch link you've got everyone's video loaded everyone who is casting gains your view so everyone is on plus one viewer um, and hopefully everyone will come out of it slightly better you know the communities will cross over um, you know we might gain a few more followers from Tobash's channel he might gain a few followers from here Lothar might gain some, Tal might gain some, you know, and, and just try and cross the communities over as much as possible. Um, and yeah, the, the chat show is basically just going to be very chilled out. It's going to be this kind of situation, so you know, this kind of scene that you've got at the moment, probably less of the clutter, but this is going to be pretty much it. Um, and then. We're just going to be talking about what we've done over the last month, really. We'll be kind of advertising games that we've played that have gone well, um, recommending games to avoid because they're terrible or you know, they, just, they haven't gone well at all, uh, upcoming games, whether it's big releases or indie games or kickstarts or you know free-to-play or anything like that. Anything at all that the cast want to talk about, it'll probably be like two or three games each that we'll, we'll talk about, um, which means that we as casters can share the good experiences and the bad experiences with the games and maybe stuff that's been a surprising success um, for myself you know I Am Bread last week was incredibly successful you know I, I picked it up because it was cheap and I thought maybe I'd get five or ten viewers from it and then we had 35 at one point so, you know that kind of thing you know, something that you've played that you were just playing for the sake of it and it turned out to be massively successful or the alternative you know play a a triple A title that you thought was going to be really good and it turned out to suck. Um, and the, the aim that I've got in my head is for everyone to be able to improve their channels and grow their channels with the help of other casters at a similar level. Um, you know, from, from what I've seen going into everyone else's channels, 
although the follow counts vary a little bit, the viewer count tends to be about the same. So we're obviously all at the same, same kind of level channel-wise. Um, the quality is very similar. Uh, obviously the casting time is pretty much identical. So we're all at the same kind of point in the, the Twitch career. I know not everyone's looking at it as a career, but for the sake of argument, let's say Twitch career. Um, and yeah, it's just a way of trying to build the community a bit. Like I say, you get four or five different casters in, everyone benefits from it, everyone gains some knowledge from it, everyone gains recommendations for games and, and follow accounts and, and all that kind of stuff. And it's just a, an excuse to get five guys together and bitch about games and Twitch and life really. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> but yeah, so that's you know that's the big news. That's my plan. Um, I've been thinking about it for a few months and not really had any um, self motivation, I guess, to um, to get it running. I think, mean, like I said last week, I was just like, right, let's just get this done. Let's get it started. Get the ball rolling. And in the space of 48 hours, I had four guys confirmed that wanted to get in on it, that were excited for it, liked the idea. And like I say, it's all guys that I've been following for a little while and, and are awesome. So I'm happy to share their channels with you. Um, if you're not already following them, then like I say, click on all the links that came up earlier and give them a follow. Um, but yeah, so over the next few weeks, we're going to work out the, the technical details. Um, things like the best way to get everyone's webcams in the same place. Um, someone recommended Google Hangouts because it's less resource intensive in terms of streaming five people's webcams um, over something like Skype which can be a bit crazy in terms of usage and also a little bit I'm a little bit wary of um, of Skype since I used it last time on stream and then my Skype account got hacked and I got charged for £200 worth of credit to call Hong Kong. <laughs> so, we're going to have a look into that side of things. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the plan, that's the big news. Um, I am going to be highlighting this first kind of 25 minutes of the cast, so that the announcement is as a highlight, so if you want to go back over it, or if you want, if you haven't been able to see it, if you're having buffer issues, or if, you know, people out here in the stream then they can go back and view it at a later date um, but yeah you know, it should be freaking awesome I'm really hyped for it um, like I say it's it's an idea I've wanted to do for a little while and the big motivation for me was to try and get that networking and the community side of thing going and doing so without having the luxury of the free time outside of casting and the free time and the luxury of being in a caster group as well yeah something that is already a a set network of casters because you know, obviously that then gives you the benefits of being within that, that stream group um that guy i did get your game i'm going to talk about that in just a second we're just wrapping up this bit and then i will tell people what game you just give to me. Well, I've never heard of it, to be But, um... Yes, I mean, like I say, the technical details we need to work out. From what I've seen, everyone is able to do the day and the time and that kind of thing. Um, we're looking to get the first chat cast on the 26th? Yeah, Friday the 26th of June. So we will be starting it this month. Like I say, I had no idea the turnaround for just the planning side of it was going to be this quick. Um, so that's that's freaking awesome. Uh, like I say, within 48 hours we had our our first lineup. Um, so yeah, I am massively hyped. So that should be pretty awesome. But that's the big news. That's what everyone's been hyped for all day. Like I said, the cast is involved. We've only known for about 48 hours, but the hype has definitely been there already. Um, yeah, any cast that are involved, like I say, Tobash and Tell, you're on the channel at the moment, you are now free to go and advertise it anywhere and everywhere. Um, you put an info box up on your channels, spam it out on Twitter, and you know, do whatever you want to do. 
Um, yeah, the, the cover is now lifted, so go nuts. Yeah, if everyone's available. Um, yeah, if everyone is available for this month, then we'll do it this month. Yeah, we'll get it started kind of as as soon as we can. <laughs> expecting this Friday. Well, it would be this Friday, except this Friday isn't the last Friday of the month. Um, I don't know if we'd be able to get it sorted in time for this Friday. The reason I was going for the last Friday of the month is so that people have enough time to kind of put it into their schedules. Because although I kind of stream randomly, um, I know that there are a couple of guys involved who have a semi-schedule. Um, so giving them a few weeks notice, I'll just give some time to let their viewers know it's going to be slightly different and kind of add it into their schedule. But yeah, so that's that's the news. That's the announcement. Everyone go nuts. Um, the reaction from what I could see whilst I was trying to look at the chat and talk at the same time was pretty good. So you guys seem hyped for it already. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm massively hyped for it. Like I say, we need to get it sorted. Um, and yeah, the first one in the next few weeks. So let me just. 